Sensory adaptation. Sensory adaptation, as psychologically defined, is a diminished sensitivity to a stimulus as a consequence of constant exposure to that stimulus. Brain cells begin to fire when they pick up on a new stimulus in your environment as signaled by your sensory organs. So, if the stimulus remains unchanged in the environment, then the brain cells begin to fire significantly less in response to that stimulus, and the result is a lack of attention to that particular stimulus. There are a lot of examples from our everyday life. For example, people who smoke no longer notice the odor of cigarette smoke, and when people who don't smoke are around them, they wonder how they can stand having their clothes, hair, and pretty much all of their possessions smelling of smoke. Similarly, when people have a strong perfume on them, they don't really notice the smell as they wear it every day, while others tell that there is too much of perfume. The sense of touch on skin receptors works the same way. If you put on a piece of jewelry, for example bracelet, Initially, you will notice the feel of it on your skin. Within minutes, sensory adaptation comes into play and you no longer notice the feeling of the bracelet on your wrist. However, you can recapture the attention of your skin receptors by moving the bracelet higher up on your wrist, only to have sensory adaptation happen again after a few minutes. So, in my experiment, I tested smell sensory adaptation. Basically, I asked my classmates to take their vests off and then I mix them. After I called one person at a time and I told them to close their eyes and then I was bringing one vest at a time to their nose asking whether they can tell if it's their vest or not. In total I tested about 20 people. None of them could tell, could detect their vests. Even when people suggested that it was theirs, it appeared to be someone else's. And it's all because of our sensor adaptation, because we are used to our smell and we cannot tell how we smell. While other people can tell, for example, there is a special perfume or there is a special shampoo we use which actually makes others understand, detect our smell somehow, but we cannot tell how we smell. And that's what I proved in my experiment. I hypothesized that people would not be able to detect their smell, so they didn't. And it's not only about the smell, it's about every sense except vision and it's because of the saccadic movements of the eye the movements which prevent visual sensory adaptation as the eyes are constantly sensing a slightly different view and therefore nothing in the field of vision remains constant so we're sensory adapted to many things in our everyday life but it's not the thing to be said about because it allows our attention to be free to detect new important aspects of the environment without being distracted by aspects of it that are constantly there. Thank you for your attention. Seriously, this isn't my photo. <laughs> it's yours.